My name is Søren. I have the Danish company Stoneless, where we produce and sell these rock pickers for ATVs. In this video, I will give you a little presentation about how the machine is functioning and how, uh, yeah, how it works. The machine is driven by its own hydraulic system. It uh, is powered through this uh, little petrol engine that runs all this, uh, the hydraulics. So yeah, it's all controlled here. We have up and down for the, for the, for the whole shovel. And uh, from, uh, if you push it left and right, you can control the, the rotor. And you have uh, the whole box you can tip and lower uh, on, the, on the left side. If you uh, push the box down and you use the joystick from left and right, you can pull the machine out and in between the ATV as you, as you like. You mount the control box as you see on the handlebar and uh, just plug in the, the cigar stick on the ATV and uh, yeah, then you mount the trailer stick on the, on the back of, of, of the ATV. Also you can adjust the hydraulic pressure in the system if you like the machine to lift heavier stones. If you drive in a field with many small stones, we usually take some power off the engine and adjust the hydraulic pressure down. You can adjust it uh, here under the the engine, that's it's a little screw. The construction is where we have it designed. Um, example for the shovel, it's uh, 12 millimeters, and uh, and uh, yeah, the frame is also really really heavy. And we have tested here in Denmark for for three years now without further problems. Um, so we are quite sure about the construction that you cannot damage it. About when you're driving the field. Make sure that you drive in straight lines, so you have a great system. Our customers here in Denmark usually tell me that um, one man with, uh, with this uh, rock picker and the ATV can, uh, can pick up rocks uh, on the same area as, um, as two men that uh, run behind a tractor and one man that sits in the, in the tractor. So uh, three men's job now become one with this uh, rock picker usually. Then you meet a deep buried stone in the, in the ground. Um, you can dig a hole in front of the rock and just press the teeth under and force the stone up from the ground. Um, it's really no problem. If the stone is too large to go through the shovel, we can uh, usually hold it with the rotor, with the ro rotor plates, and just lift it up and drive it out of the field and dump it where we where we want to. Most of our customers they uh, dedicate some corners in the field where they dump the stones and after one out of three years they come around with a tractor and, and pick them all up in a, in, a, in a huge trailer or something. And about uh, maintenance, there's not a lot to say. Um, yeah, One time in a year, shift the oil in the, in the engine and uh, in our user manual you'll find uh, where and how to grease the machine. Um, it's not a lot. That, that's not a lot to, to do.